Well, hey everyone, it's Hudson, uh, and, and I have just been blown away by this new version of DxO Pure Raw that they launched today. I wanted to put out a word for everybody to go download a free sample of it and check it out because I got an advanced copy a few weeks ago, and I've been playing with it with some of my high ISO images. You know, it's the first step in your processing, uh, you know, workflow to run it through this demosaicing with DxO Pure Raw 3, they've got a new algorithm, their XD algorithm, and it cleans noise out of high ISO, noisy dark images in a way that'll really, really just shock your senses as you look at it without you know, losing your detail if you've got a nice sharp image and without adding any artifacts or, or janky edges like some of its other competitors out there in the noise reduction software. Uh, league, particularly those that do it at the end of the process instead of at the beginning have a tendency to do. So it's not without its, uh, its odd quirks. It just takes a long time to render in Lightroom. I'll showcase that in the screencast I'm about to show you. But I say run, don't walk to check this out or to upgrade from your prior version of DxO Pure Raw. This new algorithm they have really is a dramatic advancement in this technology. And I, I still think that they remain quite a bit ahead of their competition in this arena. So I've got affiliate links in this video's full description. Uh, you can find it over at the gear links on my website, you know, hudsonhenry.com slash ATS links. Uh, check it out. I think you'll agree with me. This, this is definitely worth using, particularly for you long lens, wildlife shooters, and people working in low light situations. This can save some noisy images. And, and this is an image, this is the perfect DxO Pure Raw demo image. It's in Costa Rica on the Osa Peninsula last year during my workshop there with David Archer. Uh, it's a it's a Jacamar bird that, that uh, it's shot with my 800 PF lens uh, with, with a 1.4 teleconverter handheld, 1120 millimeters F9 in a dark thicket. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, a dark scene shot at 12,800 ISO with my Xenon. You can see it's pretty noisy. So let's see what DxO Pure Raw can, can do with this image. It's, it's that kind of situation, you know, I was photographing these toucans way up high in a tree in Scarlet Macaws, and suddenly I saw this beautiful uh, Jacamar bird that was deep in this thicket, uh, and I, I swiveled to photograph that, and it, it stayed still long enough for me to sort of pull off the teleconverter, sneak in a little bit closer, lower my uh, shutter speed down to 125th of a second, which is kind of amazing handheld that I'm able to, to photograph that 800 millimeter lens handheld at 125th of a second and get sharp images like this. But, but let's work with the one that we got that, that really needs some noise help. This one at 12,800 ISO with the Z9. So once you install DxO Pure Raw 3, it, it's gonna install a plugin. You can run it as a standalone piece of software or you can run it as a plugin out of Lightroom, which is how I like to do it. Um, and it, it, it takes some time. It has a little bit of a quirk to it. I'm gonna show you. I think it just is because it takes it so long to actually behind the scenes process and write this file as it does it. But the way you do it is you've got your image up in, in Lightroom and you go down to plugin extras and you say process with DxO Pure Raw 3. And even this takes a little bit of time sometimes to pop up if it hasn't rung yet in the background. And you'll see you've got this new option. If you're used to DxO Pure Raw, um, you're used to having their prime uh, denoising algorithm or their deep prime denoising. And this is, by the way, a thing you do before you process the image at all. This should be the first step. This is going to be DxO's demosaicing image where it interprets that raw data and creates a new uh, photographic file from the raw data with its noise reduction and detail uh, preservation algorithm built into it. It's going to wrap that new file into a DNG really, really editable file wrapper, but it's still not a raw file. It's demosaicked by DxO's engine. You can still edit it in Lightroom you know, non-destructively, but you're letting DxO interpret the raw data when you do this, and it should be the first thing you do before you do any more processing. So you know Deep Prime, you can always see what all these things mean by hovering. I'm not even gonna change the defaults. We're gonna do all their optical corrections because DxO does marvelous lens corrections. It knows my lens. If it didn't know this lens, it would download the profile for it. 
They stay up to date with profiles. DX does great with lens profiling. I want my output format to be DNG, and just by default, it's gonna put it in a subfolder inside the folder that you're working in in Lightroom called DxO Pure Raw 3. And I'm gonna go ahead and use DxO Deep Prime XD. That's this new thing. I'll also process this and show you the results with Deep Prime, which we have with Pure Raw 2. So you can see the improvement from the old algorithm to the new. And I'm just gonna go ahead, click start processing. Um, and we're gonna use a unique name because I already have kind of tested this file, which was the one that blew my mind. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and process it. And it looks like it's processing it pretty quickly. If you click open this destination folder, it'll bring up a folder in you know Windows Explorer or Macs OS. Uh, and, and you can watch it have nothing in it. The folder will get written and you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. You can keep working in Lightroom. When this ends, it looks like it's done processing. I'm actually gonna start a little timer here, uh, a stopwatch. I'm not gonna bore you while we wait, but you know you can keep working, looking at other images in, in Lightroom, moving around. Eventually, it's gonna create a new collection and bring this new file in. It takes it a minute. It takes it a good little while. Um, and and we'll, we'll talk about how long that is when I come back. All right, so it, it took it over two minutes. I think when I stopped talking, it was 11.07 on my clock up here. It's 11.09, it was about two and a half minutes. Now, if you batch, you can batch process a bunch of files. Um, and let's just look at this, by the way. Wow, that is crazy. Um, <laughs> not, not, not a thing touched on either the, you know, th this file at all. Nothing, you know, just straight sort of stock. There's no sharpening, nothing, no noise reduction. That's what came out of DxO Pure Raw or Deep Prime XD out of DxO Pure Raw 3. The Deep Prime XD is the new algorithm. So, okay, all right. Um, so it takes a really long time. If you batch process 10 files, it might take 25 minutes. You'll be working along in Lightroom and, and just all of a sudden, um, it'll pop up and it creates this collection called DxO Pure Raw 3 and it puts in the date. You know, I've done one file today, all right? So um, it, it puts that file in that collection, DxO Pure Raw 3. If you go back to the folder uh, where you were working prior, if we were to jump into our folders here, um, have a look in our Costa Rica folder, you'll see there's a DxO folder, all right? That's where it's putting that image. This isn't something that I do for every single file I'm working with. It's something I do for the really noisy ones that absolutely deserve, uh, you know, the, the, the best of, they're the images that I've gone through, called out, I love this image, but it's really high ISO and noisy. Um, so. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna show you the results as I promised. I got this pure raw test. This is my original file. Let's jump in here and look at develop. This is the original raw file straight out of the camera. We looked at this earlier, okay? Um, and no editing adjustments, whatever. Let's have a bigger look here. It's super noisy. That's a tough image to edit. Um, here's what it looks like with DxO's Deep Prime. All right, let's compare those two. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, um, this reference uh, system that Lightroom has, and we'll, we'll make the original file the original uh, and have a look side by side. So this is done, nothing done to the image whatsoever except running it through the old Deep Prime algorithm that you had in Pure Raw 2. Okay, let's make this Pure Raw 2 image the reference photo and have a look at the Deep Prime XD um, Wow, you know, it looked great in comparison to the original image. There's still a little noise to work on there. Look at this new version, holy cow. I mean, that's where it just sort of like, they sent me this software to test and I looked at it and thought, whoa. Um, no, you know, artifacts that I'm noticing in the out of focus details in the image just keeps all of that sharpness from the original file and reduces the noise. And then you can go through, you know, let's, let's jump out of this view and have a look at what it might look like with a little bit of editing and a little distraction removal. Um, you know, wow. 
I mean, talk about retaining sharpness and giving the ability to pull shadows up and really bring this, this beautiful bird uh, out of its surrounding background. I mean, that's a file to go from, from this image right here with that amount of noise to this image right here, that's just stunning. Uh, and so, you know, if, if you find yourself working with noisy images on occasion, I really think you owe it to yourself to give DxO um, Pure Raw 3 a shot with this new Prime XD. Just know it's going to take a little time. It's not something you do to every image. It's for those noisy images that matter to you. You run it through that before you even start processing. It's a front-end workflow solution to really noisy images. And again, you know, you can you can uh, run to this video's description or over to my website at hudsonhenry.com slash ATS links and click the link uh, and and download my or, or click on my affiliate link to run over there and grab a free trial of it. If you test it out with a free trial, uh, uh, you'll be blown away.